Greetings. Today we're going to discuss yet another gas law, Avogadro's law. Well, let's test it. It says that for a gas at constant temperature and pressure, and I'm going to keep it at constant temperature because it's at room temperature, and I'm going to keep it at constant pressure, the volume is directly proportional to the number of moles. So, basically what this entails is that I add a certain amount of, certain number of moles of gas, and what's happening to my volume? It increases. I add more. my volume keeps increasing. The more I put in there, the more the volume increases. Pretty simple. All right, let's move right along to our problems. Well, how does this work? Well, basically, we know that volume and moles are directly proportional, so our relationship is V1 over N1 equals V2 over N2, which if we cross multiply, our relationship comes out to V1 times N2 equals V2 times N1, similar to other relationships you have seen that are directly proportional, such as Charles Law. Let's try it a problem. If I have 0 0.105 moles of helium gas and it occupies a volume of 2.35, I have N 1 equals to 0 0.105 moles, and I have a volume 1 of 2.35 liters at a certain temperature and pressure that hasn't changed. What volume, so I'm looking for V2, question mark, would it occupy if the mole, if I have 0 0.37 moles? So N2 is 0 0.337 moles. So I'm going to plug in my values, and I'm going to say, I'm going to rewrite V1 N2 equals V2 N1. Oops, 1. Now I'm looking for V2. I'm going to divide by, by N1. Uh, N1 goes away, and the, I'm looking for V2, so there it is. Now I'm going to plug in my numbers, 2.31 liters. That's my V1. N2 is 0 0.337 moles divided by my N1, which is equal to 0 0.105 moles. And I did this calculation previously, and I know that it is 7.554 liters. And to verify, what did the, the moles do? We went from 0.105 to 0.337. Does that look like the volume in the moles increased? So the volume must also increase. And yes, it went from 2.35 to 7.54. All right, very good. The next problem, I'm going to let you solve this one on your own because I think you can do it. It's a very simple problem. And I'll give you the answer momentarily. This, the answer is 4.35 liters. Make sure that you have solved it using all of your variables, writing them down, writing your formula. You should be a guru now at solving gas flow problems. Have a good day.